A freedom of speech event that's not even free. Ali Dawa attempting to look good in a suit but ends up looking worse. A lot's happened in the past week or two. Let's have a bit of analysis and introspection, please. Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome to this exclusive episode where I call up Ali and ask him what's going on mate and some of the answers he gives me are very disturbing. You ready to get roasted yeah? Always, they call me the young roast. Uh, who, who, who calls you that? I don't know. Oh, fair enough. In short, Tommy Robinson was doing a freedom of speech event because ironically he was suspended from Twitter for hateful conduct. Ali Dawa invited himself to this event, as you do, but then what was even more shocking was he was approved. Now Ali Dawa was invited. Yes, I was shocked too, but don't worry because the person who approved him got sacked later. He turns up in a suit with Muhammad Hijab. Maybe not look like this, yeah? That's what makes you beautiful. And then he gets told, you're not allowed on stage because Tommy Robinson's organised this event. He bypasses the organisers and says, Nah, he's not coming on and you can't even tell him why. So when I heard that he'd been invited, it's my demonstration, I made the decision, he's not speaking. Crowd gets a bit rowdy, starts beating him up. It gets messy. But Ali Dow didn't actually do anything wrong, so um, he should never ever have been assaulted. What is ironic here is a freedom of speech event, a Muslim has been invited, orthodox Muslim, last minute he's not allowed to speak. Calling someone to a freedom of speech event and then not allowing him to speak is like calling someone to a buffet mate and not allowing them to eat. Or going to a synagogue and being refused entry because you're a Jew or turning up at a feminist march and not being allowed to participate because you're a woman. Of course Tommy Robinson was representing all of freedom but here he stopped Ali from exercising his freedom of speech because it offended him and his family. A lot of other people would like to hear him speak. If these things would have happened to their families I think they may think a little bit differently about it. I don't know which definition of freedom this guy is following nor his followers who are trying to stop them and harm them from exercising their freedom of speech. So in conclusion, freedom of speech is only applicable to you unless you cheese off Tommy Robinson and his family. Although in these countries freedom of speech are given within certain parameters but now the government has to control the thought. So the question now is not freedom of speech, it's freedom of thought. Uh, and, it, and it is led in, in England and the United, the United States primarily, England secondarily to huge uh, industries uh, devoted to control of thought and attitudes because you cannot control people by force. So the next rally the Ali Dawa should organize is a freedom of thought rally. So what's interesting is in a book called Trust Me I'm Lying he makes a very good point. He says that anger generates more shares and ad revenues and it causes more buzz. So newspapers love printing things that anger people and of course if there's a scapegoat, now the scapegoat is Islam. So they know the majority of the Muslims are not violent, just like majority of the Buddhists are not violent but you still got the 969 group which is an inherently violent Buddhist group. Hindus, you got the RSS, Abhinav Bharat and the current government mate, same with the Christians yeah and of course same with the Zionists. The media is contributing to manipulating our freedom of thought because it sells more papers. Of course certain concerns that these right-wing people have they're genuine and they should be addressed but claiming that they represent freedom of speech when it's not being exercised properly is just them taking a very serious concept and just manipulating it for their own personal gain. I called Ali Dawa for some very serious questioning mate to see what on earth is going on. You ready to get roasted yeah? Always. Yeah? All day every day, they call me the young roast. Uh, who, who, who calls you that? I don't know. Oh fair enough. All right Ali, time to uh, answer a few questions mate.
Always. First of all, what are you playing at? Never. Okay, good. What is Bob spelt back? <laughs> what is Bob spelt backwards? Maybe. Yes. And why didn't you get to speak at the Freedom of Speech event, mate? It's a Freedom of Speech event. Why can't people pronounce your name? Dawood. <laughs> Did you regret wearing a suit? I didn't choose that glass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> what would you do differently if you were invited back to the Freedom of Speech event? Have an apple juice. Is Tommy Robinson finished now? So they continued. Any developments with the police since that mm. whole issue has taken place? NASA's flying to Mars. Any exclusive gossip for Smile to Gender? No comment. Thank you. Thank you, Ali Dawa, for speaking to Smile to Jannah. Assalamu alaikum. Don't forget to hit the notifications. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And guys, until next time, Assalamu alaikum.